Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, we saw that for the most part, ES failed at the previous VPOC at 12 quarter and um, started heading lower towards the recent balance lows. Heading into the open, we're going to be using 05 to 07 as the micro bull bear zone. Holding below that would tell us that short term sellers are in control and we could be heading down for a test of Friday's low at 02 quarter and a break below that could lead to some acceleration of the downside and uh, bring the 94 quarter and the 91 quarter 93 quarter support into play where responsive buyers can still be active on first test so bigger picture we're still in a overall bullish context but short term this uh, 05 to 07 area is pretty key and uh, you know holding below it could lead to some more selling pressure and a test of some of those uh, lower prices um, as long as we hold above that zone, 05 to 07, then on the upside, the key level is the 2010 high volume node. And a break above that could shift control back to the buy side, even on the smaller time frames. We have some resistance at 12 quarter to 14 quarter. That's an area where first test, there could be some rotation, but uh, we will have to be careful shorting that zone because a breakout above 2010, the high volume node of this recent balance, would tell us that you know buyers are stepping back in and being more dominant and um, even though we can get some rotation at 12 quarter to 14 quarter at that point the market could be setting up for a test of 17 to 19 and uh, that's another area where uh, we can still get rotation and some selling we have the all-time high at 19 quarter so you know that's an area where at the very minimum we can get some profit taking and uh, some some rejection on first test and then if we break out above that, then of course, you know, there is no hard resistance above 19. So, uh, you know, we'll just have to gauge it in real time and uh, just, uh, you know, look at the relative volume, keep an eye on what the range potential of the day could be based on how the volume situation is coming up. And if the volume is light, like yesterday, then today could be another, um, you know, relatively narrow range day, 10 to 12 points. But if volume picks up, then we can get a little bit of range expansion. And if we are going to get a pickup in volatility, it's really only going to happen if we break to the downside. It's very unlikely that we're going to get um, you know, a more volatile market if we head back up towards initial resistance or break out to a new high. Then it'll probably still be more of a choppy type day and uh, uh, you know, a bit of a sluggish move. But if we break lower and hold below 05 and especially below 02 quarter, then we can get some pickup in volume and um, uh, you know an increase in overall volatility at least in the short term and that can lead to a move down to 94 quarter but we do have to keep in mind that you know the overall context would still be bullish and buyers could step in at pretty much any point even between 94 quarter and 02 quarter so you know in real time if we see that buyers are stepping in and the market is basing and kind of bottoming out then it's a good idea to cover the short and uh, potentially even look for a long setup because overall the market is still uh, within an uptrend and this would simply be a pullback within an uptrend right so we still have to uh, keep that idea in mind and realize that you know buyers can step in even along the way um, it doesn't necessarily have to go all the way down to uh, 94 quarter but that is the next main inflection point below the 02 quarter low and uh, then if we do head down there you know that's a spot where buyers can certainly be active first test that would be a uh, retest of the breakout from last week so uh, 91 quarter to 93 quarter is a very key area where buyers can be active we have a open gap 88 half naked VPOC 88.75 and finally um, 85 to 87 is an area we're using as the bull bear zone on the larger time frames so in the event that the market does head lower, you know, that would be a range extreme. And it would also be uh, an area where the selling could shut off and we could see a reversal off that zone. But ideally, you don't really want to see the market going all the way down to 85 to 87. Um, you know, ideally, it holds the breakout area at 91 quarter to 93 quarter in the event of a downside move. And worst case scenario, fills the gap at 88 half and then quickly reverses back up, uh, you know, above 2000. So the main idea today is to keep an eye on just the bull bear zone, the micro bull bear zone at 05 to 07, you know, see how the market reacts there. If, you know, we start holding back above 05 to 07, 
then it would tell us that we're still trading within the balance. Buyers are stepping back in, and uh, you know that could lead to a test of 2010 and 12 quarter, 14 quarter above the micro bull bear. 2010 is really the key level. Um, you know, if we if we put in a breakout above it, that would be a shift back to the buy side, even on the smaller time frames. So uh, you know, let's just keep that in mind that the overall context is still bullish, and uh, you know, in this type of market, buyers can really step in at at any point. And uh, in order to get some sell side acceleration, we would have to see not only a uh, the market holding below 05, but a break below 02 quarter. So those are the main ideas heading into the open. Let's see whether the buyers can hold it today, and we'll take it from there.